Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, my name is Crystal. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'm gonna give you guys like a quick little two seconds so you guys can go ahead and do that, so. Make sure you guys subscribe by now, so let's get to it. So today's video is gonna be based on my everyday uh, makeup look. I know I've gotten a lot of questions about, hey, how do you do your everyday makeup from a lot of people that I know? So I decided to do a tutorial on how to do your everyday makeup. Well, like mine, of course. For today, I am, I know you guys have seen that TikTok challenge on if you do a certain translucent powder uh, in the beginning and then topping it off with some setting spray, it will give you that amazing look once you are done with your foundation and applying all your makeup stuff so why not try it for today what i do is i'm using the maybelline new york translucent powder in the medium color i know i should be using the transparent color but i couldn't find it when i went to buy some new um powder so this one doesn't really look too off my skin color but it just does the trick so why not use it i just literally kind of spilled some but whatever and don't forget to before you apply anything on your face don't forget to put a moisturizer before your makeup because it just gives it that easily natural look that is just going to be so easy to apply your makeup so what you're gonna do is just keep on dropping this powder everywhere, but whatever. So I'm gonna apply it with a beauty blender. Just under all the little places that I'm very shiny. I do have a very oily skin, so I do need a lot of translucent powder, as you guys are gonna see. I like to put some on my chin just so it doesn't pop up. This is harder than I thought. I don't have a mirror to look at myself as I'm doing this for you guys, so bear with me if I look kind of crazy. And now you're just gonna let it sit a little bit and since we're not really gonna, you know, bake since this is the first step, we're gonna use a brush to kind of set it on into your skin. So you just wanna make sure it is all set into your skin. I am not a uh, makeup artist, so bear with me if I do a couple steps differently than most people would do. I'm gonna use my setting spray to get ready for the foundation. want to basically just not rush into the foundation right away because you want to let the setting spray kick in so I just kind of like to find my self off so now you're gonna get your foundation I am using a I'm using the Maybelline fit me in the color 310 sun beige And I have been using drugstore products for when I don't want to use my expensive foundations. And for this video, I'm just gonna do the drugstore foundations because I kind of like this one a lot too. And I'm gonna use a foundation brush. And it's from Bare Essentials. 
and I'm just gonna apply my foundation. Make sure you get your under eye because some people don't and they look crazy. Because you want to make sure your foundation is all the way through your all of your face. And once again, I'm not a makeup artist, so don't judge me. Make sure you go into your eye as well, just so you are not looking like you have two different colors on you. I know this is gonna sound really crazy, but you wanna make sure you even go in to your hair instead of your scalp, just so it kind of blends in. Notice I have a bump right here and it's not a pimple. <laughs> it's literally my dog that like hit me accidentally. He's a little clumsy little boy. So once you have your foundation on, you're gonna go in. Ooh, I don't like this part. Make sure it's literally all evenly all through your face. And now you're gonna go, I'm gonna go in with my Fit Me uh, Matte Poreless Powder. And it's in the color True Beige as well. I like fine powder just because it gives it that matte look and it doesn't leave me as shiny. But like I've said earlier, I do have very oily skin and I try not to show it as much because it's not cute. 
we're gonna conceal under our eyes and do the whole nose thing um i'm gonna go in with my la girl pro conceal concealer um this baby here it's amazing it's hella cheap and it just does the trick for me all the time even when i use like the really expensive concealer i still come back to this one because i don't know it's just better <laughs> Conceal everything, why not? With my beauty blender, I'm just gonna dab. Conceal. And this one is in the dark cocoa color, and I know I didn't mention the color that I use for my concealer, which is the classic ivory color. So now I'm gonna go in and conceal my cheekbones. blender and just kind of blend the contour. concealed our faces we're gonna go in with our beauty blender into the translucent powder It and bake for a couple of minutes I would say about I don't like baking that long I just have no patience so about three minutes or so probably five but 
just want to make it like quick and easy my everyday makeup look is just always quick and easy because it defeats the purpose of i'm gonna slate myself and i could take hours doing my makeup so this video is just not that okay so do like a couple of three to five minutes and you'll be fine so now we wait Now I'm gonna use my brush to kind of set it into my face. gonna go in and do a little eyeshadow I like to do gold just so it gives it that you know tan look to myself and gold and my hair is gold kind of goes perfectly with my eye color just kind of defines it And every time I feel like I use a gold eyeshadow, I feel like it makes my skin look very tan in a way. I don't know. That's just my theory. orangey gold undertone on my crease just so it kind of makes it look very poppy not poppy <laughs> I just made that word up it just makes it the eye pop more I'm using this color in the Lancome case I don't know what it's called it's a starlight sparkle eyeshadow palette glow in the color kissed by gold so it has a little gold undertone So my eyeshadow looks well blended. And now I am going to do my eyebrows. Let's I'm gonna brush them. I like to brush my eyebrows a lot. I recently got a brow lamination, which was amazing, but with this quarantine, I couldn't go back and get them laminated again. And I'm gonna use this is a Clinique brow um, set thing. I don't know, I've had it for a while. It's amazing on me. I do also use the morph eyebrow pencil but i sometimes just like using just this for my brows and i want more of a natural look so we're gonna use this And now I 
like I like to just go in, fill it in. And make sure you're going as the hair is going on your brow. inside of it so it's not that harsh we're gonna do the same on the other brow We're gonna grab, I like using brown eyeliner just so it looks kind of more natural because that's what I like to do for my natural everyday looks. Just like to look natural sometimes, but with makeup on. We're gonna, I just want, I'm gonna create the half um, eyeliner point. So you're gonna start out and create a wing. makes it easier to create that wing. As you are applying the mascara, you want to make sure that you are doing movements of up and down on your lashes and also separating them so it gives them more of a full wispy look. And as you keep on reapplying the mascara with the second layer, you want to make sure that you are also separating your lashes in between. And as you're applying mascara on the bottom lashes, you want to make sure that you are not grabbing too much mascara because you don't want your bottom lashes to be very clumpy. Bye. Bronzer. 
bronzer. And I'm using the Hourglass palette. And I'll be using this color right here. I like to look very bronzed. I just want to go in and kind of tap into, tap the concealer into your eyebrow so it could just blend naturally. a little bit of pink um it was kind of peachy pink um blush just so it could kind of make me look more alive and it looks like this this is from tarte it's a cute little peachy pink color and now we're going to do highlights so I am going to use, don't mind my brush, my niece got very carried away and ended up messing up my brush for my highlight. So I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero palette for my highlight. And I'm going to use the Forever Lit one. I can't show you because it's very messed up. Mm. A little bit right there. to use the NYX uh, regular black liner eyeliner for the bottom eye. Bella Cosmetics Lip Perfection in the color Naughty. And I'm going to make my lips look bigger, so I'm gonna show you guys. Make sure you're going from the middle here of your nose, I mean of your mouth, and you're just going up a little bit. You don't want to look like a clown, so don't do too much. And then I'm gonna do a dimension for And we're gonna move on to the bottom.
lipstick. I'm using NYX, the color 522. And I'm just gonna put it in the middle of my lips. And I'm gonna blend in. And now we're gonna use setting spray. We're basically done. And this is the final look. Alright guys, thanks for watching my video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. And don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to turn on the bell for post notifications so you get an alert when I post a new video. Thanks for watching and see you guys on the next video.